Okay guys, so we have the center console out of the truck. Um, this is from a 1984 GMC Jimmy, so most GM vehicles from the late 70s to about 87 uh, have these, including Suburbans, uh, Blazers obviously, Chevy trucks, uh, all the good stuff, the square body stuff. Um, and what I'm going to do is show you how to take this completely apart uh, and how to basically restore it. I've already done this part, just kind of give you a comparison of the two. Um, so let's dive into how to uh, disassemble this and clean it for painting. Okay, so we need to take the lid off of this. We need to take the lock out of it. Um, this tray comes out um, pretty easy to do. So this tray sits in here. I can show you this it would be pretty easy right um, when you're taking it out you just get your finger under this and this whole thing just pops out so let me balance this thing back against the wall so that tray pops out so when you're doing your original disassembly from the truck uh, there are four I'm not quite sure what size these are um, probably 10 maybe 12 uh, millimeter bolts um, and obviously there's one, two, three, four spots uh, that you need to take those out. And then this whole package lifts out. Um, we'll take these guys out. Uh, and we'll also take this, this hinge bracket out and paint this all up and refinish it so it looks nice. Um, so, you know, let me get, get the tools ready and I'll show you, show you what that looks like. Okay, so the very first thing that I recommend is getting a uh, Ziploc bag. For all of your parts because they're very easy to lose there's tons of screws obviously this is my center console um, so today I'm using my DeWalt 20 volt uh, Torquey to take all these screws out I'll take the lid off first okay so here we have our lid uh, and I always take this off first before I take the lock out just so I don't mess the lock up um, and then obviously the rest of your bracket Okay, and the bracket is loose ish. All right, so what we'll need to do, obviously, we've got a few, you know, cracks in here, um, is repair those. We'll just do plastic weld and, and bring those back together. But right now, I'll uh, gather up all my screws and put them in my bag. Come back, take this guy off, and then we'll also take off our lock so let me do those really quick uh, get ready for them anyways and then I'll come back and show you how they're done okay so the latch hook removal um, use an 8 millimeter you can use your standard sockets or if you have bits for your screwdriver obviously works just as well too just take those all the way out just like so so for the lock removal um, what you're going to need is some sort of pick so we've got a pick um, and it's hard to show but if you guys have this you'll be able to tell so where it's kind of scratched down here um, there's little pins that you need to depress to actually get the lock mechanism out so I already took it out I'll show you the lock so, housing editor and it just twists in there um, and locks that whole unit in place. So if it would focus, there we go. Um, but the, the way around that that I found is just a decent set of pliers that are wide enough to grab the edge and you can grab it and just twist it out. Um, so yeah, there you go guys. That's the, uh, the disassembly, complete disassembly of 
the center console for GM Chevys. <clears throat> um, what I'll go into next is how to clean this thing up. Uh, it'll be a different video uh, for painting, um, but I've got to do a couple other things too. There's a few cracks on this thing, and it, it needs some needs some touching up before I put the put any kind of paint on it. Um, anyways, um, hope you guys like this video. Hope it was helpful.